Hello once again and today we're going to show you how to use SSF which is a Sega Saturn emulator. Um, first of all though you have to download Daemon tools because um, you have to mount the disk images. It's pretty simple just download Daemon tools you may have it already so basically once you've done that you download your um, Saturn ROMs just go to you know, create a virtual drive so you just go to that um, find where you've downloaded all your ROMs for your Saturn just click on that and now that's mounted so you don't have to worry about that until you want to play a new game and if that you just eject it and put a new ROM in simple as that so now let's open up um, the SSF so we've got to drag that down here so here we are so that allowed up the game now but before that before that um, you can't really play the game just yet because there's a few things we've got to do um, it won't play the game so first thing we've got to do is uh, ignore this hardware right options right we've got to go first of all go to options and the first thing first you've got to do is select a BIOS right you've got to download a BIOS a Mega Drive um, not a bit uh, Sega Saturn Met, um, BIOS and put it in here as you can see I don't know why that would be peripherals so BIOS don't have to worry about STV files yeah make sure CD drive is select to this soft virtual unless you've got um, actual Sega Saturn discs that way you can select the drive that you want it to run from uh, these I will just um, so just whatever region you're from just select that area code obviously I've got it in Europe because these are um, power, I think, power areas. So, yep, so you can leave that as that. Screen, these are all optional settings. You can do what you want. Sound, controller, right. You have to select your controller. Um, yeah. So you put control pad, then you can redefine and you can select. Um, the, key, the buttons on your control pad if it says as it says you know what we do well I won't set it because I've already set it but you just go redefine you can have two controllers plugged in um, program one don't have to worry about that two three easy settings you don't really have to worry about that once you've got your BIOS and your controls set up then you're good to go um, so okay on that so we go back to options, graphics, don't touch that, resolution, rotation, sorry, don't touch that, window size, obviously you can select whatever you want, and I wouldn't touch that, that's it really, so it's pretty simple to set up, and yeah, it's, I like it, it's a very good emulator, anyway, I'm going to end this now, thank you so much for watching, until next time, and goodbye.